sound is so good. That one has the remote control for the, the garage door. He's heading to Target, buy some stuff, some grocery shopping, and heading to Las Galenas, visiting my nephew. Colton and Peyton waiting for me. So I started to like sport car a couple years ago. My friend, um, she is actually the girl that taught me how to drive a manual. My name is Neha, by the way. Shout out to her. Um, so I, I learned how to drive a manual, and then I I started to like it, like it every day. So I was introduced to a Corvette, like the new model. It looks so awesome, so that's when I initially started to like the Corvette. I mean, I didn't think I was going to get it until uh, this year. I started to, you know, talk to the guy. His name is Buzz at uh, Chevrolet um, in uh, Red Vine. It's called Classic Chevrolet. And, uh, you know, I've been talking to him since Thanksgiving, which is last November. I was surprised that he let me test drive the, uh, the, the, the Corvette. And so, yeah, I've um, been talk, talking to him since November. Now and then I, I, I started it, uh, basically, you know, talked to him again in March. And March the 8th is when I actually signed the paper. Um, the configurations and all that so he can basically turn it in for a custom order because the car that I wanted they don't have it uh, the reason why they don't have it because it's only 25% of Corvette has a manual and most of them are black which I don't I mean I like black don't get me wrong it's just that the white the white it's Arctic white just so good. It look it looks just so good. You know? So I want a white one with a Kalahari interior. I mean I was debating on uh, the red one and the Kalahari and you know I, I think that the Kal Kalahari fits me better. And so I want a white one with a Kalahari interior. Uh, with a manual stick shift, 2LZ, they don't have it in Dallas, so I had to custom order it. So I turn in, I submit the, the order in March the 8th, May the 2nd is when I got it. It, it. It's actually here, so I can't pick it up at May the 2nd. And now it's July the 23rd, so I have the car for about 2 months and 21 days. I put. 3,800 miles in there, in this car. I've been driving it a lot. Not every day, but I've been driving it a lot. Sometimes I take it to work. Um, it gets a lot of attention, especially the white with the black accents in it. It's, it looks really nice, guys. I love it a lot, especially the engine sound. Um, you have two options, you can turn it on, which may open the valve that sound really loud uh, or you can turn it off which is very quiet I'm surprised it's really quiet too I mean it's a sport car so I mean you can't compare it to the Lexus GS or something like that but um, it's, it's just an awesome car I mean uh, GM put a lot of work into the interior the C6 generation, the interior looks looks really bad compared to this one, obviously. And the the, the outside, oh my 
out the exterior. It's look awesome. But yeah. Um, and then another thing, I was debating on whether we should get it manual or uh, uh, automatic, and uh, I, I decided to go with a manual. It's just so much fun when you drive a small car in a manual um, setting. You basically control everything, all the gear, very easy to use. Um, Sometimes I got mixed up between the 7 and the 5. I mean, seven and fifth gear, um, but I mean, it's not too bad. Get used to it already. Another thing I have is a PDR. It's a camera up here. Uh, you can uh, record video. Uh, it record, it's gonna record the speed and all the information. They overlay on on top of the video, so you can go home and you know watch it again or something whatever you want to do with it or if you want to record something on the way you can just click the button and they'll record it for you another thing if they can have like a little recording button right here you just press it to record that makes it easy because right now I have to go to the setting here click the button right here and then like wait for like a second to basically you know appear to dismiss so I have to click the dismiss button, then I can start recording, which take about, uh, take about, I guess, four seconds in order to record. So, if GM come up with like a recording button right here, and all you do, all you have to do is just press it they'll record it then it's save a lot of time guys like sometime when I was driving on highway and I saw something and I was oh crap I, I gotta record it I gotta record it and then I had to go, I had to go mess up with the setting here and then it's it's done it's passed so it's a button somewhere here or here and you can record it that'll be a thumbs up you know maybe GM you guys should listen to my video and Maybe, you know, a C8 generation or 2019 model have like a little button right here, like shortcut, makes my life easier. So yeah, I mean, that's my update. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm gonna make another video and telling you guys how I actually ordered the whole process and the timeline and everything if you're interested give it a like comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you see you next time had two memory seats um, heads up displays here 